What's up guys, it's XP Mods here and this video is going to be about installing Neighbourhood for the first time and also having the right plugins to connect to tools and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do first is open up our folders. So this is tutorial free. I'm also going to be showing you how to change the name of your Xbox in Neighbourhood. Okay. So, we're going to download this file, I'll put a link to it in the description. While you're downloading it, we're going to do the other stuff on the Xbox side of things. So at the moment, we do not have the plugins installed on the Xbox. So I'm going to plug my USB into my PC. And from the teapot files we downloaded in a previous tutorial, you can see we have xbdm.xcx. So we're going to paste that onto the USB. And then pull the USB out of the PC and plug it into the Xbox 360. Try and plug it into the Xbox 360 without cacking it up. There we go. <laughs> All right, on the Xbox 360, we're going to go over to Games, XEX Menu, press RB. We're going to go down to XBDM.XEX, press Y. Click A on copy. We're going to press right on the D-pad. Bring us to our hard drive. And then we're going to press Y and click paste. You can see that's now on our console. There we go. What we're going to do now is go right to the top. Go on to dash launch. Go down to plugins. Plug in one, A, go down the hard drive, go down to xbdm.xex, click RB, go down to hard drive, click X. Okay, now we're going to press B, bring us back to dashboard, and then we're going to reboot the console. Okay, so now you've done that part, you want to install Neighbourhood. I can't install it on here because it's going to cut the video off like it did earlier. But it's pretty easy. You just double click it. If it asks to uh, have permissions, you know, the thing that makes your screen all go grey, the administrator thing, just click yes. And then everything that comes up, you're just going to click next. It will say minimum installation or full installation, whatever one's ticked, just click next and just let it do its thing. You might need to reboot your PC. And when it's, once it's all done, it will be here. You should right click it, click pin to quick access, something you're gonna use a lot. So it's handy to have it. And then we're gonna double click it and we'll have this thing pop up. I warn you, it is pretty buggy, but it's just something you've got to live with, unfortunately. On the Xbox, we're going to go down to Network Settings, I'm going to click A, Configure Network. Now that IP address, that's we're going to make note of that, and we're going to add Xbox 360, let me just delete this one first. I'm going to click next. So it's 192.168.69.76. Click next. Click yes. Click finish. 
Just wait for that to load. eventually. Okay, there we go. By default it will be called JTAG and it will just be like a white console. We're going to change that. So what we're going to do is drag over xbdm.ini, copy it, I'm going to paste it here. And that would be called uh, JTAG, and that would be called No Sidecar. Just change that to blue or black, and change that JTAG text to anything you want. Click Save, and then you're going to want to drag it back over and click Yes. Then you want to reboot your console. Right, so also gonna we want to connect tools up okay so what we're gonna do is jrpc2.xex drag that over here obviously I've already got it but that's cool and then we're gonna go back to the Xbox back to games XCX menu gonna go to dash launch and then we're gonna go down to plugins and we're gonna put plugin 5 as the newly JRPC2 we just put in press RB go down to hard drive click X press B and then we're literally just going to reboot the console and then from there you should be able to connect up to your tools okay guys so that's literally everything we need to cover if you need help with anything feel free to post a comment i'll be happy to help and good luck to you all